I'd say that probably my 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 most liked one uh, rather than favorite is uh, so I've got a set of bed sensors that I put in and um, they're using uh, these like flexible kind of resistive resistive um, sense um, film kind of thing. Okay. And I put them on the bed slats and right. um, I've, because the I think I bought one of those like analog the analog to digital converters that could take four of them. So I put yeah. them like top of the bed, bottom bed, left and right. Um, at the time, I was using ESP8266 um, for that and uh, using Tasmoda for um, the firmware. And it worked so well because it got to the point where it was like, I don't know, working from home, I'll just take a nap, get in bed, blinds come down, <laughs> go to bed, could trigger like a, a, an alarm, you know, so like wake up in like 10, 20 minutes, whatever <laughs> it was. And then when you get out of bed as well, blinds come up, yep, yep. Uh, turn off the alarm because he you knows you're out of bed and then you can just go back to work kind of thing. And, it's, and then that applies to so many other things as well. So <laughs> that's funny. That, that to me is like the pinnacle of what I've done in the house. <laughs> That's amazing. For, so for, for Danny's boss that's listening, now, yeah. now you know <laughs> you know exactly his secret of, uh, of, of how he got through the day. When he doesn't answer those Slack messages for 10 minutes, that's what's happening. That's right. <laughs> so I've always wondered with the bed sensors though, like what happens when you put something like on the bed, like, you know, washing or um, anything that's heavy on the bed, does it recognize it's, mm. does it think there's someone laying in the bed? Like, and has that ever been an issue? Um, or is it smart enough to know uh, that's a, it's a light load, it's not a person or it's not a, it's an animal or something? Don't trigger that. No, it's not. And there's, there's other, so I've actually moved from Tasmoda, which I've, the two ESP home as well, since that kind of, um, got more popular mm, and i yeah. found i don't know i can't explain it but i think the tasmoda seems to be more accurate um even though it's just given arbitrary values compared to esp home which uses voltage to kind of mm. sense how um what's on it um but there's there's different things there's like um if you put a load of washing on in a basket or something like that because i've got two on each side of the bed at the top and bottom it's quite unlikely that you'll get both sensors of a human weight kind of thing, unless you have something heavy on, maybe like a suitcase or something. Yeah, right. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, and then the other thing is like if, uh, say, like a kid jumps on your bed or something like that, that's only momentary and they move about and stuff as well. Whereas when you're sleeping, you could almost add like a, uh, was it, wait for X amount, yeah. like a mm. minute or two minutes or something like that too to kind of offset that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I've, I've actually mm -hmm. tried making these before. Like I have all the pieces for it and everything. And for whatever reason, I think, I think maybe I just got a dud of a, like the analog to digital converter. And no matter what, I just could not get it to um, read the values of it. Like it just wasn't even detecting them. And so it's interesting that you're, you know, you kind of ran through Tasmoda and then ESP home. And then now you're kind of saying maybe Tasmoda was better or not better, but like, I guess better. It's more accurate. I don't know what you want. So it's, 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 there's no sugar coating it there, right? Um, no, but I think also at the time, the Tasmoda only supported the ESP8266 and then I moved on to ESP32 chips and they didn't right. support it at the time as well. So that's why I kind of moved. I wanted everything in the same ecosystem to manage it. So um, Makes sense. yeah, I, I, I don't know whether it, like you said, I don't know if it's better or not because it's the same hardware. It's just reading the values differently. Um, yeah. And ever since then as well, it's it sounds really stupid, but like the the mattress you put on the slats, it's actually uneven weight because you when you're changing the bed sheets or something like that, the it could be shifted to the left or the right, and then that might also put the sensor off kilter. And I think this is where I need to explore some of the I think they're called filters for the uh, ESP Home stuff to try and filter some of that out or like average it out or something along those lines. Right. Right. So you want it within kind of this rough range, right? Like it's not even that because if you think the the mattress is pressing on one sensor mm -hmm. um for a period of time you could just see the graph kind of stay high thinking someone's lying in it, but actually you want it to be more uh if it's sustained amount, let's say it's reading like 2 volts for example, um and it's normally at zero. Well, if if you've Move if the mattress shifted a bit or you change the sheets and it done that, you want to say actually reset that back to zero or only when it goes up 
beyond the two. Right. Yeah. So you want it's to like sort of like tear difference. it at some point and say, all right, this is your new yeah. base level now. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I wonder so if yeah, I think yeah. some of the, yeah, there's there must be some filters for that, but I'm I'm haven't looked into all of the there's so many different types as well, and I'm not trying to could figure you, out which one's the best. Could you do that in Home Assistant? Like, how, like if Home Assistant is getting those raw voltage numbers, I don't know if it is. I'm just saying, if it is, could you then um, in Home Assistant have an automation say, okay, um, like you could have a button say press this, reset yeah. it, and then um, you could just set like a hidden variable somewhere, like a, an input text or something, and say, all right, this is your new base zero, and then your automation will be based on that value. You know, if uh, it's gone above this value of this entity, then it's got someone on it. Yeah, you could probably, there's probably helpers that will help you, like things like the min max or the statistics yeah. um, stuff. Yeah. Um, but I think the ESP home filters actually have more scientific ones like Bayesian and deltas and stuff like that. Um, right. So I think those would be more powerful. And then the, the calculation of it will just feed into Home Assistant rather than Home Assistant trying and to then, take yeah, a value system. and then calculate it. Yeah. yeah. And you're kind yeah. of better, it's a little more efficient doing it off. Home Assistant too, right? You just kind of split the load a little bit for, in terms of just computation of who's doing what. Mm. But um, interesting. So, and and you said you used the like the strip like sensors, not the because the ones I got were like the little square ones, like the with the uh, oh yes, the, the, like the weight kind of yeah, thing, yeah, yeah the, yeah, the the H way bridge i think or h bridge yeah, or something like yeah, that yeah something like that yeah <laughs> um yeah so this is where like lewis from everything smart home kind of went yeah. through all of those types of sensors and it's it's very interesting how we went through it but the strip sensors work best for me i've i also bought some of those but mm-hmm. the legs of the um my bed is kind of like a rectangular shape so i would have to build a platform right for the bed mm. or the, the the weight sensor to go on top of um and right it's also then you had to have wires in all four corners of your bed. Whereas for these, I could put them on any slats. So I could do it to like top of my torso to the middle of my torso. And then um, I could do the same for my kind of wife's side. But, you know, because we're at different heights as well, you can then move it from up or down the slats as well, as opposed to using the posts right. of the bed. Um, so, yeah, it's, I mean, it's literally just stuck down with tape and you could just move it if you really wanted to. <laughs> yeah, And yet some of those things can be the, the most rock solid thing in your smart home. It's funny. I'll tape it all. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. 